Hello everyone, welcome back. So I am joining you here on a random day when I don't usually film. I haven't done my hair, I haven't done my makeup because I just wanted to record this and just say something on this situation. For those of you who don't know, Euphoria um, has made like a statement um, about the whole foundation situation and I thought I would follow up because I did a video on the situation itself. Now for those of you who don't know, very briefly, Euphoria released a foundation that was basically black face paint. I'll leave a link down below, I would suggest you watch that first before you watch this if you're like, what is he talking about? Um, it's been a while since Euphoria has said anything, they finally have, and it's not good, it's not great at all. I know Euphoria follow me on Instagram, well, they did. <laughs> um, and I like to speak when I feel it's important. So hopefully they'll they'll see this. I just, I want to start off by saying this, however, some comments on my other video, a lot of people were really, really missing the point of the drama or the controversy here. It is totally your opinion and you're entitled to your own opinion, whether or not brands should feel they have to accommodate every single skin tone within their foundation range. Let's let's say you completely disagree with me. I think they should. A lot of people don't. That's fine. I know everyone in the world disagrees. I disagree with you. You disagree with me. Put that aside. Put that whole thing aside, whether or not you think they should or shouldn't, because that's not really the main reason why people are pissed off. Euphoria already went through that, right? They were, people were disappointed with their shade range. They then promised to extend the shade range with a lot of in-depth research in a very quick period of time. They then pretended to do all the research. They pretended to scout models and look for their skin tones and try it on everyone. They then released a product that was literally black face paint. There lies the outrage and the controversy at this point. So whether or not you believe that a brand should accommodate for all skin tones is redundant. No one cares because we've gone past that point. The brand said they would, right? Let's draw a line under that, because they said they would. Then what they did is completely fuck it up and almost take the piss and be like, here's some black face paint. There is the controversy, okay? So obviously everyone's outraged, everyone's pissed off. Uh, people who sell their products have dropped them, except Ulta, they still sell them. Um, because evidently, Euphoria now has a tainted taint. Euphoria's name isn't the best now at all. It will always be remembered as that brand that released that black face paint and told black people, there you go, that's good enough. So I just wanted to say that because a lot of people are like, not all brands have to cater to all skin tones. Okay, fine, in your opinion, but they said they would, right? And then they did it in an uneducated, horrible way. Okay, so I'm recording this on Tuesday. So it was Monday, I believe. Um, Euphoria put up a st statement or a post on their Instagram account, right? And on their TikTok as well. Um, and I'm saying a statement because it's not necessarily an apology or anything like that or an acknowledgement of what happened. Let me show you. So they said, our commitment to providing inclusive products. We care about our customers, and as we continue to drive change, we are creating a new position internally dedicated to examining both our current products and those in development so we can best meet your needs. You can read more about our values on our website and learn more about the role in our careers page. That's it. That was the whole thing. A month later, this is what they have come up with, basically saying, hi everyone, we're making a new role to oversee our current shade range and products already in development. And they have directed everyone to their website to read more about it. So we do have the career section on the bottom of their page. So here's the role, Director of Product Development. Euphoria is hiring a Director of Product Development to lead our product development efforts, efforts for word, with a focus on inclusivity and the creation of a diverse product line. This role will be instrumental in ensuring our products cater to a wide range of skin tones and cultural preferences. The ideal candidate will have a deep understanding of product development process, project management, regulatory, regulatory requirements, and marketing strategies, coupled with a strong commitment to DEI principles. Here's the key responsibilities within the product development part of this role, right? I want you to bear in mind this is going to be one person by the looks of it. Manage the product development process from concept to launch, overseeing product lifecycle from creating the marketing brief to delivery at the warehouse, including formula development, 
packaging development, COGs and margin, ensuring alignment with Euphoria's brand values and DEI goals. Deliver to brand strategy and ensure innovative product concepts, unique product positioning, ingredient and formula storytelling, technical innovation and on-time delivery. Serve as a primary contact with third-party labs to source innovative formulations by providing formula feedback and product expertise to lead the product development process. The job role of responsibilities go on and on and on. This is for one person. I really don't think that this one job role is going to be the answer to all their bad negative things that have been happening. Expect There's a lot going on within that role. I'm assuming it's going to be one person of colour who is going to take on that role. Probably be pretty underpaid because they also clearly don't have a budget to do like a whole, uh, you know, shade extension range. But then again, I don't know the business side of it. So do with that what you will. I want to talk about the statement. This is extremely, extremely disappointing and worrying. In fact, I do wonder, have, would it have been better had they not said anything at all? Um, Because this gives even more we don't give a fuck than releasing that black face paint that they did before. We care about our customers and as we continue to drive change, we are creating a new position internally de dedicated to examining both our current products and those in development so we can meet your needs. I do not believe there are any products in development in terms of shade range extensions. I don't think that during this time of people questioning the um, ethics of this brand, they sat down and their initial response was like, quick, extend extend the shade range. Not at all. Bearing in mind that black face paint is still sitting in stores. It's still online. It's still available to purchase. So from reading through the comments after I filmed this, I read through some more comments and people are kind of annoyed at the part of a statement that says, to meet your needs. Now, initially up front, that may seem a little bit like, oh yeah, you know, they, they want to meet our needs, but people are saying it's kind of passive aggressive. I do think you have to be extremely careful how you word things, you know, in text messages, in emails, you know, you know, when people are like, oh, they didn't send a smiley face or they put a thumbs up, is that sarcastic? You can't really tell how people are feeling through a, um, a statement or a message. But then I do think that also has to add to the fact that there is a huge lack of any kind of empathy feeling or any kind of um, human emotion really in this statement. And I think people taking that as passive aggressive kind of leans into that fact a little bit more. You have just made a huge mistake and people are waiting for you to say something, a statement. Surely you would try and put some human empathy into your statement. And as we've said before, as we have figured out already, scientifically and beauty product developmentally, <laughs> that shade isn't for no, is for no human. No human can wear that shade. You can read more about our values on our website and learn more about the role on our careers page. This is so impersonal. It just strikes me as this is the best they could come up with without acknowledging the fact that they have done something wrong. This is a statement about how they are hiring someone new <laughs> and for the job role. This isn't an apology. This isn't a sorry. This isn't acknowledging that what they did was a mistake. Nowhere in this statement is there an, is there an acknowledgement that a mistake was made. Something stupid happened. They fucked up. Nowhere in that statement is that addressed at all. This is looking like you're doing something while actually doing nothing at all. Period. Full stop. Whatever you want to call it. This position should have already existed anyway. If you're going to extend the shade range, you need people to advise you clearly within this brand because they couldn't do it themselves. We had fake product development strategies. We had fake looking for models. This fake storyline as to how they were developing their products. And we ended up with a crappy product. A few comments that made some really incredible points. Um, that I want to take you through that I came across the other day. This one in particular, the lack of tone and accountability is actually mind-blowing. You didn't apologize for the BS you pulled. You doubled down and got people in Ulta harassing black customers so you can feel justified in the BS of a launch. What a crappy ass company. Stop branding yourself as inclusive because you are not. That's what I really wanted to touch on. This, this brand 
is not inclusive and the actions they have taken thus far after saying they are working hard to be inclusive have proven complete otherwise just because you extended your shade range terribly and you think that's good enough being inclusive isn't just like here's a product that you can maybe use it's your overall being. It's your overall who you are as a brand. Taking accountability for this situation would have been great, would have been a great step in the right direction. If you were truly committed to inclusivity, you would apologize and take constructive criticism and produce better. You clearly didn't learn anything from a backlash you received. And frankly, I'm not surprised. Same, like what would I expect from such a crappy, disrespectful and disgusting company like Euphoria? This comment as well really annoyed me. Not every brand, ha not every brand has to accommodate for every single person on this planet. The reason premier brands have the law is because they aren't tailored for every single person. This whole cancel and bullying brands and people is gross. No one's bullying the brand. Pe they have offended people. I don't know why this is such a difficult concept for some of you to understand. Again, not every brand has to accommodate for every single person. Redundant because a brand said they would, right? They made a promise to dedicate time and money to extending their shade range so they can make it inclusive. I also wanted to read this about the position in itself. Just went to look at the job. Why, why is this a DEI director and product development position? It's like three jobs in one. There should be an expert focused solely on product development because PD should be inclusive from the jump. Then there should be an internal DEI consultant with experience in new media, artist relations, comms, inclusion, inclusion, and the corporate and customer level, who works with product development, marketing, and all departments to ensure all efforts are made for continued inclusion across the brand and its identity. Come on now, Euphoria, you keep taking these L's because you're being hard-headed. The entire beauty community is out here doing the work for you, free, but you are too stubborn to do anything. This smushing three positions into one to placate consumers is very obnoxious move for the lip service. A lot of people are also bring the fact up that this is a smaller brand. Yes, a lot of smaller brands do also have inclusive shade ranges. Inclusive shade range doesn't mean you have to have 50 shades, right? <laughs> you can have an inclusive shade range that accommodates a lot of deeper skin tones, a lot of lighter skin tones, a lot of medium skin tones. It doesn't mean you have to have this huge, huge range of shades. There are smaller shade ranges that are inclusive also. And that can also depend on product texture, the formula. Perhaps it's a tinted product. Perhaps it's something where like a tinted, like a BB cream or a tinted serum, where you can actually choose between one of 10 because they're just tinted. This is a skincare brand, essentially. So why did they not, why did they not go down that route? Just because somebody owns a small brand, it doesn't mean they lack common sense, right? It doesn't mean that, oh, they're a small brand. They didn't mean to put out black face paint that's made for no human, but in comparison to every foundation that's ever been made ever, apart from white lead, in like the Tudor times, shouldn't exist and doesn't actually exist. It doesn't mean that the owner and product developers don't have common sense. Well, evidently they don't of this brand, but for small brands in general, stop excusing a small brand for doing this horrible thing that they did, right? They put out, I just wanna get this in your mind one more time. They said they were going to make their shade range inclusive, dedicate money to it and dedicate time to it. They said they would, whether or not you think it's correct or not. They then put out black face paint that didn't even fit their models. The swatches weren't even real. We can't look at that and be like, oh, but it's a small company. D okay, does that mean they can do whatever the fuck they want? Does it mean they can, you know, create whatever product they want and be like, here you go, we're a small company? No. I know I can say we're just a tiny brand and that just doesn't excuse the fact that some of you guys do not feel seen or included and that that is unacceptable. I'm extremely sorry that we did not do a great job by this, by you guys with this launch and with this product. Stop excusing people for being foolish, for being a fool. A lot of people have said, and I totally agree, if you are a small brand and you don't have the money to make that shade range yet, don't do it. Stick to your blush, stick to your lip products, stick to an eyeshadow, stick to something that is inclusive. This is a skincare brand. How about you make a lip balm? Anyone who has experience in makeup, could not look at that shade range and call it inclusive. Full stop. All right, well, <laughs> and we have to rem remember as well, 
a lot of people out there probably aren't offended by this. There's probably a lot of people out there, it's like, it doesn't concern me, doesn't bother me. Of course it wouldn't. But then there are also loads of people out there who this is very offensive to. And I am frustrated one for them. I'm frustrated because the brand thinks everyone is stupid. And I just hate it when companies make really fucking stupid decisions. It's so ridiculous. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I'm hot. See you soon. Bye.